So here's the simple truth about how to make the gestures flow. First of all, get ready. And you all did it at various times when you did the very first introductory thing. Your hands naturally went here. So this is what we call the ready position. Loosely touching in front of the belly button. It's not the classic fig leaf. It's a little higher than that. It's here. In fact, if you came up right now and squeezed my biceps, my hands are here because there's a little energy in my biceps. That's ready. The release is the first gesture. Good morning, I'm Brian Johnson. Or may it please the court, my name is... That, that release of that energy is where the nervous energy then flows out of us. I'm giving it to you, members of the jury, I don't want it. And sure, once in a while, as you all did, we relax. So those are what we call the three R's. Ready, release, and relax. And if you mix those three things up, they can become five. <coughs> Ready, release, relax, and then a little bit of this ambidexterity, the right hand is released while the left is relaxed, or the reverse of that. And those are the five positions that we all use when we're being natural. And now you can say, oh, okay, I never thought about that before. Never knew that I was gesturing in that particular way that is the give, the show, and the chop. And that then becomes a way to instantly engage your hands to let the adrenaline flow and your hand-brain connection so the thoughts flow so that ultimately the words flow. The thing about gestures is if you really start to pay attention to them, they are a fascinating connection between how we think, how our hands move, and how our words flow. So back to your question about finding that ability to get the thoughts to flow in a weird way, the hands have to flow so the thoughts can flow. If the gestures get locked away, whether it's in the classic fig leaf position, parade rest, pockets, or lecterns, it's the brain that locks up. And so here's a couple simple ways to think about it. So what do we do with our hands? Because on the one hand, we are saying to you, we want you to use your natural gestures, which means don't think about it. On the other hand, we're saying you've got to know what those natural gestures are so that you can be in control of them, especially at beginnings. So a couple of valuable things gestures provide. They first of all provide a way for the adrenaline to leave our bodies, not through our legs, but through our upper limbs. Our upper limbs are connected to our brains and our voices. Our lower limbs are not. So no matter how much I move my legs, it's not helping how I think or how I speak. But how I move my hands assists the flow of thoughts and words. So when I stand up in front of a group and I'm nervous, here's my subtext. Good morning, I'm nervous, I'm giving it to you. I don't want this feeling. Here, you take it. Here, why don't you take it? I don't want it. In other words, let your arms do the walking. 